Hey, my kid and I spent a fun afternoon building a Game Boy game with AI and running it on a real Game Boy Micro. I'm going to show you how we did it. Alex Gleason is a developer who has released a Game Boy dev template for use with AI. It's available on the getstacks.dev decentralized platform, and you can also get it from his GitLab. To get started, check out the template on your local. Run make get gbdk to install the Game Boy dev kit, and then you can run make to build the demo project. That will output a Game Boy ROM called game.gb, and you can run that in Visual Boy Advance to test it on your local. Now let's look at how to modify the demo project using AI to make your own game. Alex has supplied a context file for the AI called context.md. I'm using ADA for AI dev, and to pass it the context, I use the dash dash read flag to load ADA with that context file. I'll also give it all of the source code that it can edit. The default model I'm using is Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and it seems to work pretty well for this Game Boy dev task. Once you've started ADA, you can give it a prompt like, please modify this project to create a simple breakout clone or describe the game you want. Then wait for the LLM to modify the code. Once it's done, you can run make again to rebuild the game.gb ROM. If there are any errors, they'll be printed and added to the ADA context. And you can just ask the AI to fix them or fix them yourself. Now run game.gb in Visual Boy Advance to test it out again. I was able to generate a fully functional breakout clone after asking the AI to fix a couple of errors. It usually makes sense to start with something simple, get it working, and then get the AI to build from there, rather than trying to one-shot the perfect game from scratch. After that, you're up and running. You can enter an iterative feedback loop with the AI, asking it to change and improve things, fix bugs, etc., and work your way towards the game you want. Do be mindful of the constraints of the Game Boy hardware. If you ask the AI to do something that's impossible on the device, it may try and fail rather than telling you it can't do it. So that's Game Boy Dev with Alex Gleason's getstacks.dev Game Boy AI template. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your own AI-driven Game Boy development.